Hey guys, today we'll be showing you how to hardwire your Thinkware dashcam. Hardwiring your dashcam unlocks the parking surveillance recording mode that is available on all Thinkware dashcams. And it allows you to monitor any incidents such as hit and runs while you're away from your car. Parking mode is activated when your vehicle's ignition is turned off. Your dashcam then uses your car's battery for power and records all incidents triggered by impact and motion detection. If you are worried about the camera draining your car's battery, don't be. All Thinkware dashcams come equipped with a built-in voltage meter. This monitors the voltage level and turns off the dashcam when you've exceeded the adjustable voltage threshold, which can be set in the settings. First, we'll show you how to install your Thinkware hardwiring kit. Then we'll go over some troubleshooting steps to help with some common issues. Please note that we strongly recommend professional installation of the hardwiring cable. You are free to attempt the installation yourself. However, Thinkware and our affiliates will not be held liable for any product and vehicle damages or personal injuries sustained by you or others during the installation. Before we get started, you will need the following items. A circuit tester or multimeter, fuse puller or pliers, Thinkware hardwiring kit, two add a fuse taps and some extra fuses. The fuse sizes vary depending on your vehicle make and model, so please make sure to check your fuse box to see what type of fuse your vehicle requires. Wire crimper. Now we are ready to install the hardwiring cable. Step one, take out the hardwiring cable out of the box and insert each of the yellow and red wires end into an add a fuse tap, then crimp the ends together. Step two, locate the fuse box and remove the panel. If your fuse box is in your trunk or engine bay, you may need the longer 22 foot hardwiring cable which is available for purchase in the description below. Step three, use your fuse panel guide and circuit tester or voltage meter to find an ACC and constant fuse slot. The ACC fuse slot will only have power when the ignition is on and the constant fuse slot will always have power even when your ignition is off. For safety reasons, we strongly recommend that you do not use any fuse slots used by any of your vehicle's critical components, such as the airbags and engine modules. First, Let's find a constant fuse slot. Remember, we are testing for a fuse that only receives power when the ignition is off. Start off by turning off the ignition of your car. Ground the circuit tester, then touch each metal contact of the fuse. The circuit tester will light up if the fuse is receiving power. Now that we have found a constant fuse slot, let's find an ACC fuse slot. You'll need a test for a fuse that receives power only when the ignition is on. Start off by turning off the ignition in your car and ground the circuit tester. Locate a fuse that does not receive power by touching each metal contact of the fuse. Once you've located one, turn on the ignition of your car and test the same fuse again. If the circuit tester lights up, you have found an ACC fuse slot. Step 4. We will now insert the fuse taps into the appropriate fuse slots. First, ground the hardwiring cable. Grab the black wire and screw it down to any non-coated metal surface. Then, look for a black battery label on either the red or the yellow wire. The wire with the battery label is the constant wire and will go into the constant fuse slot we have just found. Remove the fuse from the fuse box using the fuse puller or pliers and insert it into the bottom row of the fuse tap. This slot provides power to the existing accessory you are tapping into. Insert a fuse into the top row of the fuse tap that either has a lower or equal amperage than the original fuse. This slot provides power to the dash cam. For the fuse tap to properly protect your devices, you will need to make sure that you insert the fuse tap in the correct orientation. Each fuse slot has a positive terminal and a negative terminal, depending on your vehicle's make and model. This means that the power is coming into the fuse slot from one side and exiting from the other. Use your circuit tester to test each terminal of the constant fuse slot for power. The terminal with the power is positive and the terminal with no power is the negative. After testing the terminals of our constant fuse slot, we found that the positive terminal is on this side of the fuse slot. We will now install an add a fuse by having the terminal that is furthest away from the wire inserted into the positive terminal of the fuse slot. That is because the side of the fuse tap terminal with the wire on the same side is the negative terminal. 
and the terminal without the wire is the positive terminal. Let's now repeat the same process with the ACC fuse slot. Grab the other wire labeled ACC and repeat the same process we used for the constant fuse tap. Remove the fuse from the fuse box using the fuse puller or pliers and insert it into the bottom row of the fuse tap. Insert a fuse into the top row of the fuse tap that either has lower or equal amperage than the original fuse. Use your circuit tester to test each terminal of the ACC fuse slot for power. The terminal with the power is the positive and the terminal with the no power is the negative. Make sure the ignition is on when you are testing or you won't have any power in both terminals of the ACC fuse slot. When you've found the positive and negative terminals, turn off the ignition of the car. After testing the terminals of the ACC fuse slot, we found that the negative terminal is on this side of the fuse slot. Install the add a fuse by having the terminal that is furthest from the wire inserted into the positive terminal of the fuse slot. Step 6. Now that we have inserted the fuse taps into the appropriate fuse slots, we will test that we hardwire the dash cam correctly. Make sure that parking mode is enabled on your camera, which can be done in your dash cam settings. Turn on the ignition of your car. The dash cam should turn on and announce that continuous recording will now start. Continuous recording will now start. Now turn off the ignition. After approximately 30 seconds, the dash cam should announce that it is switching to parking mode. Parking recording will now start. If you hear this notification, you have hardwired your dash cam correctly. To finish the installation, route and hide the hardwiring cable in the headliner and pillars of the vehicle. Your Thinkware dash cam is now hardwired. If you are experiencing some issues, here's some troubleshooting tips. If the camera goes into parking mode while the ignition is on, the ACC wire is not receiving power. Check if your ACC wire is crimped properly and make sure that it is inserted into an accessory fuse slot. If the camera does not turn on at all, the battery wire is not receiving power. Check if your battery wire is crimped properly and make sure that it is inserted into a constant fuse slot. If the camera beeps and turns off when you turn off the ignition, parking mode is not turned on. Check to make sure that parking mode is enabled in your dash cam settings. If the camera does not change to parking mode while the ignition is off, the ACC wire is still receiving power. Try another accessory fuse slot. If you have any questions about hardwiring your Thinkware dash cam, give our support team a call or send them an email and they'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching our video. For more Thinkware unboxings, tutorials, please subscribe below.